In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an SDS using a template. We will also show you the guide wizard and the suggestion wizard. SDScribe is organized like a safety data sheet with 16 sections. There is a numbered tab corresponding to each of the sections of an SDS. For example, identification, hazards, composition, and some of the sections are divided into several tabs. You can navigate to any section by clicking on the tab or by selecting the section from our navigation drop-down. To access SDS templates, click on New SDS. Templates save you time since they are partially completed SDSs for certain types of products. For example, Liquid Household Cleaning Product is a good template for low-hazard, water-based products which are not corrosive or flammable. This might include products which could be irritating to the eyes or possibly the skin. You can always edit the templates and add more. To illustrate the use of templates, let's create an SDS for a consumer use cleaning product. Let's assume it is a water-based product with 89% water, 10% dodecyl benzene sodium sulfonate, which is a surfactant, with a CAS number 68081-81-2 and 1% isopropanol. We will select Liquid Household Cleaning Product and enter Super Cleaner. We will use the Guide Wizard to help walk us step by step in a logical order for completing the SDS. Under the guide, we are able to take a brief tour of the product, obtain guidance on items or sections, show hazards of the product, and even obtain valuable background information on each section. Some of the information is optional, such as product number and brand. We will enter the use cleaning product. For the manufacturer, we will use the information in our preferences. This will carry over the address, logo, etc. Notice that the guide wizard takes us to section 3 to add the chemical components. Let's type the CAS number 68081 dash 81 dash 2 instead of spelling out the whole name of the surfactant. Notice we will carry over the incompatible data from the component substance record in our database. We will enter 10% into the maximum concentration. Now let's add isopropanol. We'll go ahead and type in the whole name. We could have just as well typed in the CAS number. Notice that the exposure limits, regulations, incompatibles are also carried over into the actual SDS for us. This is the strength of a robust database. Now we are taken to section 9 and we will go ahead and enter the appearance clear liquid odor, odorless, and pH 7 to 8. Relative density 1.01. The guide wizard now takes us to section 2 to enter hazard classes pictograms and associated H and P statements. We will select U.S. to ensure we add GHS information specific to the OSHA standard and click on the suggestion wizard. Notice the suggestion report lists the GHS hazards of each component. It also suggests health hazards of the mixture including skin irritation category 2 and eye irritation category 2. It also includes some such as acute oral toxicity category 5 which are not included in the US standard but which are included in other standards. Also notice 
that the acute toxicity estimate has been calculated in the report. It will be automatically added to the SDS as well. We will accept the GHS hazards. We are informed of the hazards added. Notice that the report even informs us that the eye irritation was converted to Category 2A. It also informs us that acute oral toxicity Category 5 is not included in the U.S. standard. We can confirm that the hazards have been added to the SDS. The exclamation pictogram and the associated H and P statements and signal word have been added. Let's select U.S. OSHA for our GHS classification since this is for the U.S. market. Notice that the acute toxicity category 5 has been listed in orange text. We can see that the hazard is not part of the U.S. GHS version and we can just go ahead and omit it. Let's omit it. Let's resume the guide wizard. It takes us to general hazards. Let's click on zoom text. Since our product is a consumer product, we will delete the text within the double slashes. First aid, notice that the guide wizard tells us the GHS hazard is category 2. We will keep the Category 2 text and delete the other text. Moving along, in Section 8, notice that the exposure limits for isopropyl alcohol have been carried over from the component record and written onto the SDS. We could decide to omit exposure limits if they were omitted in Section 3 by clicking on the Omit button. In Section 11, notice that the acute toxicity estimate has also been calculated and written here. This was calculated for us in the suggestion report. We can paste actual component toxicity values by clicking on the Paste Toxicity Items button. We will continue to use the Guide Wizard to complete Section 11 and Section 12, 13, and 14. In section 15, notice that this includes data carried over from our component substances. We can merge and also control the sort order. In section 16, we will edit the disclaimer and include our company's name. We will call this version 1 and include an issue and print date. Let's go ahead and print the SDS. Notice that we can adjust the formats. We'll accept the default format 
We can save the SDS as a .doc Word document. And by the way, we can generate the GHS label as well. Download a free trial today at sdscribe.com.